<clears throat> what is going on guys? Dar Sizzle here. Today we are getting ready to head offshore and today we are looking for big sharks. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Shark week this week. We're going shark fishing today. It's been real aggressive out there. So uh, we're pretty excited. And we haven't been out in the boat in a while. You know, we got back from home with Sasa and, and we've been doing some work. But I want to show you what gear we're bringing today. So for, this is my main spinning rod for sharks. This is a Cabo 80 with some tough line 80 pound braid on there. This is this is just for sabikis and for fooling around the Bonitas. This is a BG 2500, I think. This is my jigging rod. This is a Sar uh, Sargoza 8000 on a short hanta rod. This is Darcy's bottom rod. That's a Maxell 08. This is just a random trolling rod. This is a new snook rod we just got for Darcy, and that's on a uh, Sargoza 6000. This is my main shark rod. This is a TLD 50. And if we catch any big, catch any big sharks, we're gonna do it right on this, and that's a bent on a bent butt. And then we got a new rod, off, a new mahi rod we just got. This is a BG. I don't know. 3500 3, or something. Anyways, this is more of like a mahi uh, that comes swimming by the boat or kingfish. Now, I, I know there's going to be a ton of sharks out there, but hopefully we're going to catch, a, a, we're going to shoot for trying to get at least two or three different types. It's going to be mainly bull sharks, uh, but we're going to see. And let me just show you some of the tackle we're going to rig up. You know what? We got to get going. Let's grow the tackle on the boat. Alright, we just got to the spot guys, and the spot we set up in is a very well-known spot for sharks. And we just put up our, ch we put out our chum, and I've also got over the side a bonita, just to get some stink in the water. This guy's been in our freezer. We're trying to catch some bonita as well, some fresh bait. Um, but I just got him in the water over the side, just to get some stink in there. And we've only been here about five minutes, Brian's setting up the shark rig. And sure enough, I've just seen two sharks cruising on the surface. Uh, so they're moving in to our location. And uh, hopefully we'll find out what they are and real soon. Oh! Go, Connor. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, we got a double hookup going on. All right, now, now, let's stop. Oh! Well, we, got, we got everything going off right now. All right, my just got cut. We got another, we got a shark on Keep your tip, just stay with that fish and reel. You got, a, you got a little shark on for sure. Let me move this out of the way. All right, I was just rigging up for bottom fishing. Now we got mayhem going on on the boat. We just had three rods go off in one minute. Pretty sure that this one we got a shark. Big sharks, oh my God. Big sharks surrounding the boat already. This is insane. Ugh. <sighs> Big shark, guys. Big shark today. Connor's got one on a spinning rod. Woo! There's sharks circling everywhere. I'm getting all crazy right now because there's so many sharks. But we got double hookup on sharks. Brother's hooked up on one. I've got a big one here on the bent butt. Just trying to reel them up at this point. I'm going to go Wicked Tuna style and try to bring this line in and reel them up quicker. But we got sharks everywhere. I'm watching their fins. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are right, we gonna try and get these sharks off? We have got a lot of sharks around the boat right now. You do not want to fall in, guys. Like, this is serious. We've got like five or six big sharks just hanging out right behind our boat. We still have the chum in the water. And I'm still hooked up to a big shark. I believe it's some sort of reef shark. If it's not a reef shark, it's a bull shark. But I've got deep collar on them, which means I can see them down deep. We're about to get them up to the surface here, though, and we're going to release them. But we got other sharks following them. Oh, my gosh. Move back here. Okay. Got the leader to the tip. We got the shark real close. I'm going to have Brian's help here. And uh, we are going to leader him up, and then I'm going to cut this hook, and we're going to release this guy. All right, got to be very careful with this lead line. Woo! 
Yeah. There you go. Cut them or film them? Well, it cuts on them. You see them? Wow! Woo! That was an angry shark! Brian just lifted his fin like that just a little just to show the cut marks on him. And that fish was angry. <laughs> Get back up real quick. We're going to go ahead and cut, these, cut this hook right out and let him go. I felt that powerful, powerful head shake. But I was cut it just in the nick of time. Saved my big old shark cutters. So that did the trick. And uh, that little piece of the hook should fall out. But we got another fish on. We got to go get it on the bow. <laughs> Second big shark of the day. We actually hooked both of these fish at the same time. And now we put this one in the rod holder, landed one. Now we're gonna try to land the second fish. All right, we're gonna put Connor on this fish. Darcy's a little tired and Connor's going to the Marines October 16th. So he's gotta catch some sharks. Having a great time with shark week. You guys can see how close we are to shore here on Palm Beach County. And uh, I mean, there's just a ton of sharks here. It's just, it's just really incredible. You're sitting around doing nothing and then everything goes off like crazy. Yeah. You can crank that, you can crank that drag up as far as you can handle it, Connor. No, not, not too much, but <laughs> I, don't want to get you, I don't want you to get pulled over the side. Oh. That shark's a little bigger than I wanted on that, uh, <laughs> that spinning rod. Uh, and, and we have a mono leader on there, I think. So, uh, you know, I put that on there for smaller sharks. You don't know what's going to bite. Like this time, I think he's a little bigger. But uh, he could bite through that mono any time, Connor. So just be wary of that and don't go flying uh, over the side of the boat. There he is. Color. Color. We got multiple sharks with him. But we're going to get him up here in a minute. I'm going to leader this fish. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and cut the cut the hook because we don't want to endanger ourselves as well. And this fish we caught on spinning tackles, so we've been fighting him a lot longer than we did the first fish. So he's pretty tired. Good job. Get that thing to the tip and walk back again. Leader this fish. Pretty sure this is some type of uh, reef shark. I don't think it's a bull shark, um, but I could be wrong. All right, so let me get my cutters. I'm gonna try to release this fish. Gone. There he goes. Off to the deep he goes. Awesome. That's exactly what kind of release you want when you're shark fishing. You don't want to mess with these guys. You don't want to bring them in the boat. We're exhausted. He's exhausted. But uh, I just cut that hook. He's good to go. And now, I don't know. Are we going to catch some more? <laughs> I don't know. We had three on at once. And now we had two on and we landed two. That was pretty awesome, guys. How was that, Connor? That was crazy. On a spinning tackle. Oh yeah, that was insane. That was like a serious fight, right? Yeah, it was. He was like, he was like showing you, like you're, like yeah, he's he way stronger than you, right? Yeah, we're in his territory, not ours. <laughs> exactly. And there was like ten other sharks. A couple were much bigger than that one. I saw kind of circling the boat. I told you guys uh, I would tell you a little bit more about the rigs we're using. That's always very important here for a little tackle time. And I'm using the, on this rod on this. Uh, on the spinner rod we just used, I, as I mentioned in the video a little bit, uh, I have a mono leader, okay? Uh, you know, we don't mind losing a couple sharks, it saves the sharks, and it makes it a little more, more fun because sharks are pretty easy, honestly. So on this one, uh, I had a hook, which we, we see was, uh, we cut in half, that's gonna fall right out of the fish, it's gonna rust out, but it's gonna fall out pro probably already, you know, it's cut in half, so it's gonna fall right out. But anyway, I got, this is a 250 pound mono, you wanna go 250 to 400 so you can leader the fish and so it doesn't break through it. And you can see that's a big shark and he didn't break through it. And I got about an arm's length of this. This is about four or five feet. And on this one for the light, I just got it right to the braid. Okay, so I got a mustad swivel to the 250 pound. And uh, again, four or five foot here to a mustad uh, circle hook, uh, four times strong or, or three times strong. I'll show you the hook right here. And then uh, and just crimped on, all right, no problem. On your bigger rod, on the bent butt, I have the same thing with the mono, probably longer mono, because I'm hoping to get a, I'm aiming for a bigger fish. And with the spinning rod, I was just going to cast the small ones. This one was out with a balloon. So I got about, you know, I got about eight or ten foot of the mono uh, crimped to a big mustad swivel, and then I got number nine wire. I got it's about two or three foot, and just again, I had a bigger hook on here. This is a ten knot, and uh, that's really the simple rig. It's only one uh, number nine wire, just one strand. Again, you know, the fish breaks through it. Not the end of the world. I'm not out here trying to kill fish, but if you're really trying to catch a monster, you would double this up 
and uh, create a real, real sweet rig. So this is, uh, worked perfectly out here. Got sharks released and uh, two thumbs up. Oh, here come two more. Oh, God. You gotta get a photo from the boat. I know. Here he goes. Here he goes. I try to save it. Oh, there's another piece down there. Film. Oh, that was sick. This shark just took it. It's okay. That was sick. He totally came up, followed it right to the boat. I was just, you know, reeling it in so that way I could try to save it. But I'm going to try to get another fish out, see if I can tease him up again. But these guys are hungry. Way too close. He's right here. He's a sick eat if you can get it. Now I'm eating the catch a lot big Nita, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 all those lines went off. That was nuts. Those sharks, you just, they're, you can't predict what they're going to do. Uh, sharks, every day, change on a day-to-day -day basis. Some days, they're real shy. They stay away from the boat. Other days, they're real aggressive. And just like that, we had three lines go off within 30 seconds. Uh, so those sharks were feeding aggressively. Caught two of them. That was epic. And then we just had them around the boat for a little while there. And they were just circling big, big sharks. And they were all... Shut up. <laughs> and they were all like six to eight foot long, and I think that was pretty cool for Connor, even though he's making fun of me back there, whatever. Um, but I hope he had fun, because it was epic out here, gorgeous day, burned some, burned some calories, <laughs> caught some fish, getting my muscles bigger. That's all that counts. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always. We appreciate you guys. If you're interested in the information about the shark rig, I'll leave it down in the description below. Check that out. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.